Hey y'all, I know it's I'm hoping this is not too dark for y'all. But um and it's late. But I wanted to come back in here real quick because my video had cut off on me a little earlier today. But I do want to address this to my mothers, the wives, the husbands, the fathers. I want to address it to you all to let you know, you know, you still have an opportunity to live. Yes, some things may not be going the way that you want it to go right now, but you're still breathing. You still have life. So the Lord is giving you another opportunity. You know, a lot of times people may say, what are your goals? What are your dreams? What is your vision? And I truly believe, this is me personally, I believe that's where we mess up on. Because we say, what are, what are our goals? Our dreams? Our vision? The Lord says to write it down and make it plain. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables or tablets. Tables, I think it is, or tablet, tables, I believe. Father, forgive me for not remembering exactly what it said. But the Lord want, tells us to write the vision and make it plain. So in other words, I give you the vision. You just write it down. Write it down plainly, just like I gave it to you. And then go and share it with others. Go, the Lord bless us with things so that we can be a blessing to others. Yes, he gives us, you know, a lot of us a spirit of giving. You know, he want us to be, want us to help people. Yes, but at the same time, we have to know when to help. And when not to help. And how long should we do so? Sometimes we take it upon ourselves to do things that we're not supposed to do. So I'm talking to you. Those of you that feel like you're falling into a depressed state. Those of you that feel like the, this, is, this is my life. You know, take the, the life that you're living right now. Don't just focus on the bad things. Start looking at the good things out of it too. What is what's what's good? What's going good in this? What do I see? What does the Lord bless me with in this? And for those of you that have not started seeking the Lord, I would say seek the Lord while he yet while he may be found. That means go out and start seeking him, talking to him. And for those of you that say, Oh, I don't believe, try him. Just try him. Start reading his word, talking to him. He will reveal himself to you. And to go back, and when I was talking about how um, I was shown, you know, Jesus being God, you can go to Isaiah 9 and 6 and read that as well. And there's so many other scriptures. But you all, we have to find Find a way to draw close to the Lord because he's going to help you out. He's going to take you out of that, that depressed state or uh, uh, a state of not wanting to be around people or, or just fed up. You know, a lot of times people come angry, bitter, don't want to be bothered because of the things that they're going through in their life. I tell you, I encourage you all, you know, start living. And, and I don't mean going out there and partying, drinking, smoking, having it. That's not living. You're destroying yourself like that. You know, with me, it had got to a point where I was so busy doing for other people. You know, I kind of lost myself too. But now I'm like, okay, you know what? I can't wait on. I I can't wait on a person to encourage me. I have to encourage myself. I want to lose the weight. Guess what? I need to start doing something in order to lose this weight i want to go ahead on and and start doing things for myself i need to do that i can remember years ago you all before i had even had even accepted the lord as my savior surrendered my life over to him i couldn't even look at myself in the mirror you all. i couldn't look at myself in the eyes in the mirror i couldn't because the spirit just wasn't right. I looked everywhere else but in my eyes. 
And it wasn't until after my life started changing and going doing for the better with the Lord was when I started to see things more clear and started looking at myself the way I was supposed to. But you know, sometimes life get in the way. And what I mean by that, things get in the way. Some people get in the way. And not even get in the way all the time. Sometimes it just, you know, it's a journey that we have to go through to make us stronger, to prepare us for what's next. So I tell you all, please, please fight. Live. Live, I'm telling you, it'll be worth it. It's all worth it. You're worth it. Don't give up. You know, just think about it. You, if you've gone through some things in your life and the Lord has blessed you to be able to tell that story, start a book. Start writing it down. It don't have to be a hundred and some pages. If you only have 20, guess what? That's a powerful 20 pages. Because it's your life. Put it into an ebook, sell it. Put it on Amazon. Start off there. You know what? And also, it's like, okay, you know what? Well, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. Hey, there are so many free classes. Well, I ain't going to say so many. But look into some free classes, free courses. Maybe some online. Look in the library. Look and ask them or go online. Or there are. The, um, the library website they have classes sometimes there's so much that we can do out here you all the Lord has given us gifts and talents we have to use them to glorify him we have to use them to help others and you know what also one of the things that I really wanted I said you know I would like I would like to have a room that had just plants like my little forest and I just want to show y'all a little bit right quick just to get off but don't y'all see I don't know if you all can see that got my love just a little bit going right here see that just a little bit right now y'all <laughs> but um live you got your whole life ahead of you. We don't know when our time will come. But we do know as of right now, the Lord has given us an op another opportunity to enjoy this life. To live this life. To please Him. And guess what? Sometimes the Lord, the Lord may take us on a journey. There may be. And take us on a journey to help others. To seek out others. But even with that, you know, just still be mindful about what you're doing, what you're saying, where you're going. Make sure the Lord is telling you to do that. Because he's not going to put a burden on you that you cannot bear. Remember that. Y'all, I'm so tired. I'm trying to hang in there. But I love y'all. I really do. And I just want to encourage you. You know, if you can, when you wake up in the morning, just start thanking the Lord for another beautiful day. Throughout the day when you have time, talk to Him. Just get in the Word. When you have downtime also, before you lay your head, get in the Word. Pray to our Father. Thank Him. When the enemy try to come and beat you upside your head over things that you've done in your past or that you're doing right now, you ask, and if you have not asked the Lord to forgive you, ask him to forgive you. And the moment that, 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 that thought comes to mind, you shut it down. Father, I thank you for forgiveness. Father, I thank you for helping me during this time. I command my mind to think on the things of our Father. 
I command my mind to think on the things of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command my mind to think on the things that I should be thinking on that will be pleasing to the Most High. You speak against it. That thing may come 10, 20 times back to back. You speak it. Because guess what? It's a war. Spiritual war that's going on. And to be honest, I thank the Lord that we cannot see through our spiritual eyes what we see in the natural. We wouldn't be able to handle it. We can't even handle some of the stuff that we see in the natural. Just imagine in the spiritual you are. All of the stuff. The Lord may allow us to see some things. But all? Mm. I just think about when Moses was on the mountain. And he asked the Lord, can he see him? And the Lord told him, uh-uh. Because if you see me, you'll surely die. He said when he passed you by, when the Lord passed, said he would pass him by, he'll cover his face. And then he'll be able to, he'll be able to see his backside. Well, well, as the Lord passed by, he covered Moses' eyes, his face. And as he passed by, Moses saw the backside of him. And just that alone, it was like the Lord, well, it was like our Father's glory was on him. So when Moses went down from the mountain, the light was so bright on him that the people couldn't even look at him. He had to put a veil on. So just imagine the opposite. <clears throat> you all, we have to fight. You fight. Don't give up. Think about your children. Think about your husband. And most of all, think about you. I'm, I'm, if you need prayer, you know, leave, just send me a message. Leave a comment, whatever you need to do. Just go ahead and fight. If you want to put your name down <clears throat> in a comment, you know, I will lift your name up to the Lord also, that his will be done. A lot of times people may say, okay, well, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me that this happened, that happened? Okay, what is the Lord's will for that person's life? And you say, okay, yeah, I'll pray for that. No, Father, what is whatever your will is. Father, this is what I pray and ask for. But may your will be done. Because the Lord knows what's best. And I can be talking on and on and on, y'all. But I'm going to say goodnight. I love you all. Stay encouraged. Lift yourself up if you have to. Even when you don't feel like it. Lift yourself up and have a good night be blessed